Uh, so in this video I'm going to talk about compound interest. I just want to introduce you to the idea. So let's imagine that I've got $10,000 in my pocket. Mm, it's not very safe there. What should I do with it? I should probably go to the bank, put it in the bank, and let it sit in the bank. Now, a lot of people think that when you give a bank $10,000, they put the $10,000 in a vault and it stays there forever. That's not true. What actually happens is the bank lends your $10,000 to other people and then those other people eventually give it back to the bank with interest, with extra money. So that they won't give them back $10,000, they might give them back like $12,000. So the bank is using your money to lend to people to make money for the bank. That's not very fair. So when you put money into a bank, what actually happens is the bank won't give you $10,000 back, it will give you $10,000 plus some interest, some extra money. They might give you $11,000 or $12,000 back. So let's take a look at what this would look like. So let's say you put $10,000 into the bank. Um, at the start of the year, now the bank holds on to that money, or well, they don't hold on to it, they lend it to other people. So they're going to pay us interest on that. Now at the moment you can't get much interest from a bank, only like 2 or 3 percent. But let's imagine for the sake of ease that the bank is paying you 10 percent per year interest. Okay, so that means that if your money is with the bank for one year, if you've got $10,000 in there, then they're going to pay you the interest of $1,000. So that means that if you put it in the bank on the 1st of January, by the end of the year, on the 31st of December, you can expect to have $10,000 plus $1,000. That's $11,000. Now, let's leave it in the bank. Let's, let's, this, is, this seems pretty good. So we'll leave it in the bank. At the start of the second year, you have $11,000 in the bank. And now they need to pay you 10% per annum per year if you leave it in there. So 10% of $11,000 is $1,100. So that means that by the end of the second year, you'll have $11,000 plus $1,100, you'll have $12,100. Let's leave it in the bank. Let's, by the... In the start of the second year, you'll have $12,100 in the bank. If it stays in the bank, count for the whole year, they're going to owe you 10%. And 10% of $12,100 is $1,210. At the end of the year, they have to add that amount onto whatever you originally had in the bank. Uh, and that'll be something like $13,300. 13, and ten dollars. So our money has been with the bank for one year, two years, three years. We started with ten thousand dollars and at the end of three years we have thirteen thousand three hundred and ten dollars that we can pull pull out and go and buy like a not a great car. Alright so that's compound interest, that's an introduction to it. Now you don't always have to fill out a table like this. I could probably put one more column on here year one, year two, year three. You don't always have to fill out a table like this. We'll come up with a formula for calculating it because if I had my money in there for 20 years, I don't want to have to do 20 rows. We can come up with a faster way to do this.